first Christmas in the White House. And we what? Stop. What? You know, what? You've got to stop it. All right? You've got to get it together. You're going to have to pull it together, POTUS. <laughs> Celebrating the holidays in the White House over these past eight years has been a true privilege. We've been able to welcome over half a million guests. Our outstanding pastry chefs have baked 200,000 holiday cookies. That's a lot of cookies. And Barack has treated the American people to countless dad jokes. They're great jokes. Not so funny. Although a few got a frosty reception. No. Oh. The last one. <laughs> <laughs> this year's White House holiday theme is the gift of the holidays. And our decorations reflect some of our greatest gifts as a nation, from our incredible military families to the life-changing impact of a great education. And the greatest gift that Michelle and I have received over the last eight years has been the honor of serving as your president and first lady. Together, we fought our way back from the worst recession in 80 years and got unemployment to a nine-year low. We secured health insurance for another 20 million Americans and new protections for folks who already had insurance. We made America more respected around the world, took on the mantle of leadership in the fight to protect this planet for our kids, and much, much more. By so many measures, our country is stronger and more prosperous than it was when we first got here. And I'm hopeful we'll build on the progress we've made together in the years to come. Tomorrow, for the final time as the first family, we will join our fellow Christians around the world to rejoice in the birth of our Savior. And as we retell his story from that holy night, we'll also remember his eternal message, one of boundless love, compassion, and hope. The idea that we are our brother's keeper and our sister's keeper, that we should treat others as we would want to be treated, that we care for the sick, feed the hungry, welcome the stranger, no matter where they come from or how they practice their faith. 